Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 7, Lesson Number 9. And over the last couple of days we have worked on solving problems using mixed units of length. We have worked on solving problems in using, in using mixed measures of weight. And today we're going to be solving problems using mixed units of time. So very similar process as the last couple of nights. This time we're just talking about time and converting units back and forth between different amounts of time. So let's take a look at a few problems tonight. Problem number one, let's start out right here. Directions are fairly simple. Determine the following sums and differences. Show your work. And let's take a look at two problems, one subtraction and one addition. So let's see, we've got uh, one hour minus 33 minutes. Now again, we love to do just simple subtraction, but we have different units here. We have hours and we have minutes. So we're gonna need to get everything into the same units. So let's see, rather than expressing this as one hour, I'm going to express it as 60 minutes minus 33 minutes. Oops, 33 minutes. Wow, that is sloppy. Let me try that again. 60 minutes minus 33 minutes. And let's see, now that we've got it in the same unit, 60 minutes minus 33 minutes, let's see, we would need 10, 20 units to get up to 53, and then 7 more to get up to 60, so I think that's 27 minutes uh, between to get from 60 down to 33 minutes. Awesome. Let's see, let's do another problem. Let's do problem E. Problem E is one of addition. What is 31 seconds plus 29 seconds? Oh, excellent. Well, everything is in the same unit. That makes it a lot easier. Let's see, 31 plus 29. I might do that on the side here. 31 plus 29. Let's see, one plus nine ones is 10. We can count under there. Three plus two plus one is 60. Oh, 60, 60 seconds, fantastic. But you know what? 60 seconds, we have another word for 60 seconds. One minute, right? Excellent. That's all we're gonna need from uh, problem number one. There's a, four other problems in problem number one. That gives you ample opportunity to try those out yourself. Let's try some problems from number two. Number two. Directions are again the same. Find the following sums and differences. Show your work. Let's take a look at 2E. 2E has us add three minutes, 20 seconds to 49 seconds. Now again, we've got sort of a mix of units here. So let's go ahead and add the seconds together. We'll add those two together. That would be 69 seconds. Ah, but 69 seconds we know is more than 60 seconds, which is a minute. So let's break down 69 seconds into 60 seconds and nine seconds. Because that 60 seconds will give us a whole minute, which will add to the three minutes we had over here to make four minutes. And then we've just got our nine seconds left. So that's allowed us to add these units, right? Minutes and seconds to just seconds because we've gone ahead and found our total number of seconds. We've simplified that so that we've bundled together one minute out of 60 of those 69 seconds, giving us four minutes and, and nine seconds. Awesome. Let's try one more problem from tonight's homework. Let's try, try part of number four. We're gonna use a read, draw, and write strategy for our word problem here. And let's read together. Joanna read three books. Her goal was to finish all three books in a total of seven hours. She completed them respectively in two hours, 37 minutes, three hours, nine minutes, and one hour, 51 minutes. Did Joanna meet her goal? Write a, write a brief statement to explain why or why not. So let's take a look. We, we've gone our reading. Let's do a little bit of drawing. Let's see. So we've got our first book, right? Her first, first book she read in two hours, two hours and 37 minutes, right? I'm gonna do a little tape diagram. Her second book, she finished in, let's see, three hours and nine minutes, a little longer than that, three hours and nine minutes. And her third book, she finished in one hour and 51 minutes, one hour and 51 minutes. And the question is, does, did she get this done in seven hours, right? So I'm just going to put a question mark there. Did she? Did all of this get done in seven hours? Okay, well, let's add them all together and see. So let's see. Um, if we add our hours together, the hours are fairly simple, right? It's two hours plus three hours plus one hour. That's going to be six hours, six hours, and then how many minutes? Well, the minutes might be a little more complicated, so we might have to add that up uh, here manually. So we've got 37 minutes. I'm going to do this here on the side. 37 minutes plus nine minutes plus 51 minutes. Okay, let's see. Let's add all of, our, all of our ones together. So seven ones plus nine ones plus one one is 17 ones. So we'll go seven and then one. And then we've got three plus five plus one, 10, it'd be nine tens. So six hours and 97 minutes. 
Well, I'm noticing something about 97 minutes. That's more than an hour. So I think we want to break out our minutes into 60 minutes. And let's see, guys, that would be 37 other minutes, right? Because the 60 minutes will combine with the 6 hours to give us 7 hours and 37 minutes. 7 hours and 37 minutes. Now, is that less time than her goal? Nope. It's more, right? Her goal was 7 hours. And so we're going to have to write a statement that reflects that. I'm going to shrink this to give us a little bit more space. Um, and I'm going to say, Joanna did not meet her goal. Her goal. It took seven hours, 37 minutes. Okay, that's our writing. Now there's another couple parts of this problem. I think there's problem part um, B as well to this problem. So I'm gonna let, let you do 4B yourself if in fact problem number four has been assigned to you. Um, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.